I'll kick your chest through your back. Hot sauce isn't real, sure, come on. <laughs> and everything, all of this happened allegedly in a dream. Yeah, 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 yeah. All, this one, this is all <laughs> satire and performance, and none of this happened. I fucking hate his obnoxious, wheezy fake laugh. Smack me once and tell me off. Don't smack me for half an hour, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you an emergency broadcast. Strap in for a new episode of Bonzi Burns Down the World. Yeah, you know, I didn't give much thought to how we're supposed to start, so I guess it's just going to start there. We're, bringing, right. we're back in the episode after... What's it been? August... Four months? Five months? <laughs> no, close to six. I close think. to six months, bro. You gotta come yeah. back more often. Yeah, I know. It's been like just busy with work and yeah. I reckon everything else going on. Mm. Yeah. But no, dude. It's even even I don't know where it's gonna be in the upload timeline. But the boys I was just recording with to yeah. break the illusion of what how I do this, <laughs> they're like, hey, yeah, we gotta have four of us on at the same time. So that's coming in terms of plans. Don't know how we're gonna do it yet. It'll probably look different to this, but dude, there's. There's big things coming. I even I even promised to like fuck it like upgrade everything like impulsively. Yeah. And now I have to like justify that by saying, "Yep, everything's going to be better." And you've come walking in and it's like it's a little bit better. It's much better than the last time I was here. Yeah. You've got some new lights, some yeah. new stands. I like it. Just, this boombox is my favorite though. Bro, it's not even there's no power it's cable. It's like Dude, look look like we're on the right side. You can see yeah. there's an empty slot. It doesn't even work. It's just purely Pure it's eye candy. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Reminds yeah. me of Deadpool at the end where he's like boom with the boombox. I, I think he's playing like I want to say Careless Whisper, but it's not. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I know what you mean. Uh, I'm never gonna dance again. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, dude, good fucking memory there because I knew it, but I didn't quite know, and I can see it. It's the exact same vibe. Yeah, <laughs> and it's red. And yeah, black. yeah. Well, no, red's red's my branding i guess so like i couldn't could not have red i don't know if you know this but red's my favorite color oh dude good choice my dog's harness lead color since he was bought home red red <laughs> he gets no other color red's it's his good, favorite color as well red's a good, he doesn't know he's colorblind <laughs> it's like you know fucking dogs don't know shit dogs are like dogs are dumb as fuck you know that yeah <laughs> no dogs are so stupid they're just, they're just obedient that's it they're not they're not smart they can't think for themselves they follow commands. That's it. But I'm training this cunt. Yeah. To follow commands and That's be exactly smart. That's exactly right. He's nah. No, with behavior. Yeah. The dog doesn't think That's for himself. That's not obedience. Nah. No, 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 dude. Animals are fucking stupid. <laughs> Most of them. All. No. <laughs> <laughs> All. So I want to stand here. All animals are stupid. Including homo sapiens. Yes. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. There is no such uh, bro, thing as I reckon intelligent we're life. the dumbest fuckers on the planet. Yeah. yeah. We're the only species paying to live on this planet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're right. You are right there. We're dumb as fuck. Well, it's just like as a sort species. of... It's just how we've set ourselves up to live, I guess. Because, look, I, I guess... Do you know about the story about the monkey that, um... Like, it had an owner for a little... I'm going to butcher what this is. But it had an owner for a little bit. Yeah. And then it was in a zoo enclosure with other monkeys, got accepted into, I don't know, the tribe or fucking whatever. The owner came back with a birthday cake for the monkey and the other monkeys were just furious because they never got a birthday cake and this cunt just got, just got a cake. Yeah. So they tore him to shreds. I love it. Just straight up murdered him <laughs> over cake. Is that on film? Uh, I want to watch a video of that. Bro. If it's on film, it's here now. <laughs> Oh, I don't oh, know. I should have, if I knew I was going to bring it up, I would have prepared it if it existed, but. If it is, you're going to see it on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> it depends how brutal it is. If they, if you could see like blood and shit, I might have to just. Blood. Blow out the... Yeah. That's going to be fun. I uh, did I, I'm not sure if I'm being right, but I think I've heard of a video of a monkey ripping off like, like a penis. I think it's another... That sounds like something that could have happened. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can't remember if it was a human penis or another ape's penis. Just ripped it off. Daz, pull that up. 
Yeah. Well, well, if I can, I don't want to go around searching for monkey dick videos. So <laughs> that one's not going in. <laughs> you can play probably like a cartoon for like the young kids. <laughs> Don't listen to this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, good. All right. Let's jump into um, your comedy event recently. Yes. Yeah, yeah dude. So I guys heard you I... guys went and watched Tom Segura. Yeah. So okay, we figured out the only reason you didn't get an invite is because sure. we weren't friends. I didn't really? know you at the time. That long ago. April. Yeah. April. June. Yeah, it was like March. April. March. April. We booked it. Yeah. Last year. Wait. No, so that we doesn't were, add up. Okay, no, we were yeah. friends. Yeah. Don't know then. <laughs> <laughs> you just did the cross one. Oh, okay, no, it's Daz's fault. Yeah. You can put the blame on him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> any any defense from behind the camera? Honestly, I think it was after we booked the tickets that yeah. I found out that Sheldon loved Tom Zagura. Because <laughs> really? I always told him, bro. Tom yeah. shits all over, but as a comedian. I'm not this even great. fucking no. joking, bro. No, no, no. This Look is... into my eyes and tell me I'm lying. No, <laughs> I'm no, 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 no. You're in the right place to have that opinion because we talked about this at length before and after the show. We, I think we're all in agreement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I told him this ages ago because Bert's just writing on that fucking the, the machine, machine story. story. Yeah. But Tom's comedy is just like, because have you watched the specials? Yes. On yeah, Netflix, yeah, yeah. all yep. of them? Uh, the old ones. There's only one that I haven't seen. All right, but I've seen the, I've seen the most you, recent, you, you and I saw the see, two first ones. You can see the progress of his comedy. Yeah, like he gets more darker, more funnier, more like like straight face, just yeah. telling humor, more confident like, even. You yeah. can just see him improve, but Bert just all he does is takes his shirt off and gets drunk. Kind of, yeah. I saw a stand up clip most of Tom, of, of like of uh, not Tom of Bert with a shirt, and it was like it was surprising because you just don't. It's like it's because he's the the shirtless drunk. Yeah. You see him close and you're like, what the fuck? This is weird. But, I mean, it's the same the guy. O- the only th- yeah. good thing he's done in fucking ages is put out the show The Cabin of Burt Kreischer. So Daz told me to watch it. I'm the only it fucking good app. Oh, there's a few. Yeah. There's like Bobby Lee on it. There's yeah. a, like a show with, like a one episode with comedians, one with uh, Caitlyn Jenner and, what's that chick's name? The, Nikki Glaser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. And then but the first episode is yeah. with Tom Segura and Joey Diaz. Fuck. I have watched that episode, I should you know, 50 times. 50? At least. I've got to watch it's, it. it. I've got to watch it. it. Does there's not, this, there's... It's, it's, you smoke a joint yeah. for the first like 25 minutes, just watch the episode. Oh. All right, that's Joe, on my list like, of things to do. Joey's though. running on like, he's like, he's just him being his natural self. Yeah. And he's fucking hilarious, dude. See, Joey's the fucking best. And I thought... Like when you were sending the clips to the group chat, yeah, I thought he hadn't done any any specials at all because that's what that's what Daz told me. But yeah. I guess he I had. think it's on Amazon. Amazon, I think. Okay, I don't. Remember I could be wrong, it. but I see. I I think I've seen that one Amazon. So how how into the career was he when he did that? Because I know there's a certain point where uh, comedians regret doing their first special too early. No. He started yeah. comedy at um, 35, yeah. when he was 35. I think he started, um, like, getting big, like, 13 years later. Okay. Because he was still, she's, yeah, he was still doing, like, small shows at, like, places and, like, uh, what do you call it, like, open mics. But if you've got or, a big enough fan base and you're good enough to do a special... But that's the thing, it. he only got popular when he got older. Yeah. That's yeah, why, that's true. Right? That's fair. That's why he's got more fans right now than he did like 15 years ago. Mm. But that's how popularity works. Yeah, and because yeah. he also went on stage with Bert Kreischer recently mm-hmm. to do like a feature or something like like the second just before the main. Are you talking act? about when he like first came back out of retirement, or was that something else? Yes, a few weeks after retirement, right. maybe like well, half, he, say, he half said that he was done. He said that he was done. Like he uh, said he was done, and he got back into it. And yeah. people started showing up more and like loving him more. Is the getting back into it, is that the show that you were talking about? No, that's recent. Okay. The f- special is way earlier. No, no, no. I've, I've moved on from the special. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I was talking sure. about like his return from retirement. Yeah, that happened recently. Yes, but is that the same thing that you were just talking about? The cabin? Yes. yes. He's been just himself right out of retirement because he filmed okay. a couple of things and then he filmed the cabin with Burke Kreischer. Yep. And after that, he came back on stage. 
So you're, you're just fully following everything that Joey Diaz does. Oh, he's my favorite human on the planet. Oh, dude, no, but that's a good... I'm not even joking. It's a good favorite I'll, to have. A million dollars or be close with Joey. Close with Joey. Any oh, yeah, day. no, because you'd, yeah, you'd find a way to, oh. to make up that million worth <laughs> 10 times over. Oh. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame that he'd probably never try like, like tour Australia. Oh, it's a shame. He hates living in New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I don't fucking want to know. I don't fucking care. I don't want to go. <laughs> I'm happy right here. So we, we have to go to him. If, we, if the opportunity comes about, we have to go to him. We have to, I reckon. Yeah. And he's aging as well, so. But he looks good as a fucking like 65 or whatever you're all. You, you see, he looks 65. Yeah. He's like, no, but compared to earlier when he was young and still yeah. looked old. Yeah. Because of the cocaine. That and also, do if it. people don't know this, he was in Spider Man 2. No, that, I do know that. So, actually, when I was looking up like cameo, like little, I guess, not film jobs, uh, like little things that Just Joey Diaz had done, like done, his yeah. like, history, I, I found I was like, oh shit, he's in Spider Man 2. Yeah. And I was like, wait. So that means I saw him when I was like really young and didn't know, because I kind of, like, not knew his face from somewhere, but like he seemed somewhat familiar from the back of the memory from when I, when yeah. I first. Because he's got saw like him two lines in it. Yeah. And it's like one of the main lines. It's yeah, like, it's like, you gotta go through him, you gotta, you gotta go, go through, through me. me. And then yeah. everyone starts joining in. Yeah. But you know, a fun fact about that scene? What? This guy was doing so much coke that he had to like swallow his spit like three times during those two seconds. What? <laughs> just, watch the, just watch the scene, bro. Yeah. He just like tries, he does like three gulps while he's delivering his lines because he was just on so much coke. At that exact point in time. Maybe like the morning off. Right. Because what, what I was just picturing there is like, the director's like, all right, ready on set. And he just goes, and I <laughs> wish. Like, Three, two, one, action. <laughs> Bro, probably. And he's sitting there, he's like, like that. <laughs> it's just ready to go. You know, also, <laughs> he was too fat for the fucking train. What do you so, mean he's too fat for the train? Because it's a model set. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you weigh too much. And, like, with every oh. part of people on there, yeah. we'll just call you in later, film your line, and you have to get off. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the director Sam Raimi that told him the same guy who directed fucking Doctor Strange Multiverse of Man <laughs> yeah and he's like bro you're too fat for my train <laughs> dude sucks to be him. but also you know what fair enough fair so it was a safety call yeah yeah but no dude Joey Diaz is great Tom Segura is great Bird Crusher is yeah <laughs> even <laughs> Ari is better than him yeah Dude, okay, so if, if Tom Segura releases a special based on the show that we watched, yeah, yeah, look out for this joke about the mechanic. The it's mechanic? The mechanic. It's a All good right. one. Just remember the mechanic. <laughs> you know what's my favorite joke of his? Which one? <laughs> He's like, this one day I took my kid to a, to a local park and my kid was playing in the sandbox and he's like, at some point this older kid gets there. And he's like, an older, but I mean like seven. Because <laughs> his kid was like three or four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the kid goes to Tom's son or daughter. And he's like... Son. Dave, he's got son? Segura's got two sons. Yeah. Yeah. So he goes to Tom's son and he, he goes like, you can't play with this sand. Like, this place is mine. And, like, and Tom goes like, I'll kick your chest through your back. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that is yeah. humor. Like, yeah. that's fucking comedy. That's, like, my line, because I know it's subjective, but that's what I like. No, like, the darker good. the humor, the better. Yeah. So, <laughs> we were actually pleasantly surprised when one of our, like, Daz and I's mutual friends, like, enjoyed uh, Anthony Jeselnik, and we didn't think that they would. Yeah. Because he's, he's... Where's he in your top five? Top five? Yeah. If, if you're... If dark comedy is where it's at, you gotta have. Oh, it's not always dark comedy. Okay, because right, I like right, people like five. I like people like Tio Vaughn. Yeah, because even though he's like com his specials are like mediocre. Yep, his fucking humor is like, like he just thinks different. He's like, I believe I be I beat autism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what he thinks. <laughs> he's like no, no, growing no, up. He's like, like, I believe I beat autism. I thought he said Down syndrome. I, I swear I watched a clip where he was like, <laughs> maybe like, yeah, yeah. There were rumors around in my town that you know I said like that I had Down Syndrome, but I beat it. And just like everyone in the room is like laughing and shit. And he's like, nah, man, I didn't start those rumors. Like that was real. Yeah. <laughs> he's a fucking funny cunt, bro. Dude, he comes out with like, I want to think like him. I know. Like, it's just. He, he asked Tom and his wife, he's like, well, 
do you guys sleep in the same house like together <laughs> he's like what the fuck would we not he's like, Bro, he's like i can't imagine sleeping in the same house as another like as my wife <laughs> It's, it's that's a, how he thinks you can't, it's really hard to justify the shit that he comes out with like, yeah not in a offensive way but in a what the, what the cunt what, what's going through this guy's brain like you just but also he comes like a super redneck fucking area yeah there's this thing about his his father was like 70 when he gave birth to him <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i saw him talk about that on a talk show in my his father's really from like really nicaragua yeah yeah and he was I, basically just doing a set like uh, about his father like on this talk show like it was structured like he does stand up which is why i think it works better when he does it conversationally but even though he's doing the same shit in his specials they just come out fine yeah because you need is that just how he is yeah like, he's like i can be cool one one i hate groups that's what he said on one of joey's podcasts right. he's like i'm that kind of person yeah and it, like I, I guess it shows then yeah because he just does the he does great on stuff. podcasts fuck yeah. like i'll sit there i'll watch Theo he's like one of the few people time. just made like dr jordan peterson just loses shit is that on film on podcast yeah that is that's a whole podcast what so theo von and jordan peterson did a podcast <laughs> yeah how did i not know about this i don't know when was this <laughs> a while ago i don't know <laughs> all right i'll add that to the list yeah of uh, yeah, things to listen to yeah going back to the question all right excluding theo von dark comedians top five So I put Jesselnik there. Ooh. I'd put Jimmy Carr there. Okay. I'd put. Oh, it doesn't matter what order. Just top five. Ah, uh, yeah. Just do just do five because like, you don't have to rank them one to okay, five. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, that, these are in that, the top five. That makes it easier. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, it, there's a lot of pressure, and you got to figure out, and it's just you go. Oh, actually, I want to swap this around. It becomes messy. Yeah. And to be honest, top five, like it doesn't matter the rank. They're all good. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but those two choices will be mine as well. Mm-hmm so what a, it's hard for me to think of that comedy right now like who does it uh, and who's good at it even if you're thinking uh more locally like i'll, I'll go yeah. to uh, every single not every single every new lewis spears show okay um you don't know who that is do you is that the guy with the long beard or is mm, that someone else i'm talking that's about that's someone else you're thinking of okay so no, then australian <laughs> really tall from frankston from frankston <laughs> no fucking uh <laughs> He and I dress kind of similar. Yeah, Josh copied the style. No, no, <laughs> hang on, hang on. I started dressing like this before I knew who he was. It just happens to be that I stay dressing like this. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, look, if I showed you... Oh, when, the, um, when Prince Philip died, he went viral for like four or five days, millions of views. Prince Philip? Yeah. What did he post? Um, just like roast, like it, Prince Philip died during the show. And he just ro- he just like roasted like him for like five minutes. Because he was making jokes about Prince Philip dying during the show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And then someone someone calls out he just died and like no way. And then someone pulls out the phone and he reads out the royal announcement. Have you not seen that this? That is fucking sick. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna watch what, it. You know what the best part is? That's right. <laughs> Actually, no. The worst part. I would have been at that show for the comedy festival, but I think scheduling wise, it was either you or Tom that said oh, I couldn't do it that week. Let's do it the next week. What? go to the comedy festival and by tom you don't mean tom segura no no no, no, no. i mean i mean just tom from the podcast yeah. <laughs> yeah it was either you or tom that said oh no actually i can't do this week can we do next week do you remember probably tom because of that it was one of you but you fucking ruined it because we would have been there <laughs> <laughs> we would have been there for that show but we saw him not long after didn't we? we saw him the next week yeah yeah um but it's alright, it's on video. I'll show you I'll show you after this. Yeah. Yeah. But no, nah, he's he's not the best of everyone on the list of favourites, but I yeah. think he's my favourite. For okay. sure. So See, I don't yeah. know a lot of people that do local comedy. See I say local, I just like I like Melbourne. Melbourne's what Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'll assume, but yeah. I'm th- even considering entire Australia. Yeah. I don't know many local humor and, like yeah well because like that's that was the same with Daz when we were first like comparing comedians yeah he was giving all the american ones and i was giving all the australian ones and there was like a little tiny bit of overlap because of the internet yeah but it just you know it wasn't all the same but that's how we found out about more comedians yeah i think yeah who was the first i think you tried to introduce me to the female comedians in your favorite list 
And I was just like, yeah, bro, look, it's like... No, I would have started with... Because you were recently Joe Rogan. Yes. And then I would have extended it to, like, Bert, um, Tom, yeah. Harry, Bill Burr. Yeah. <laughs> like, Bill Burr, yeah. Bill no Burr was already... School, yeah. Yeah. Would I you say... Taking, I would have taken you that way first and then got into this being a comedian, so... Because I was also telling you about... Was it the British comedians, too? Yeah, 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 so, yeah like, true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Uh, Jimmy Carl's British, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah he is. <laughs> Fucking laughs like a donkey, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I tried to explain that to someone, and then I thought it'd be really easy to find a clip. And I couldn't, and I... Did... No, 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 it wasn't him I was trying to find a clip of. I was trying to find a clip of Andrew Schultz's laugh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he la- is like, is, um... He's close to a donkey. He's more like a seal. Yeah. yeah. His... One of his... F- favourite podcasts is the one with Rogan came on it. And they go fucking... Oh, Good like baked. completely baked. Yeah. Yeah, Rogan's sitting there like high as a oh. kite and he's just like, you know, I used to have any, every, anyone on the podcast. You know, Holocaust isn't real. Sure, come on. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, tell me more. Um, but no, that was, a, that was a really good episode. You know it's good. It's going to be good if Joe Rogan comes to you. Like, oh, that's yeah. A, that's a pretty good blanket rule. Like when I reckon one of the biggest biggest podcasters can when you're yeah. podcasters, I guess. Yeah. yeah. When Ro- Rogan, Rogan subbed in for Bert on... Um, uh, two bears once. That was a good really? one. Really? Yeah, 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 they do. Because when they have guests, one of them fucks off, and everyone always hopes it's Bert that fucks off. Always. Yeah. Because it's just he just talks about his laugh is shit as well. Yeah, that's who. Yeah, dude, I fucking hate his obnoxious, wheezy, fake laugh. You know, like when he's like trying to say something and he's just going like, eh, eh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. It's fake as shit. And he's just like and it's just annoying. <laughs> yeah, I fucking like, hate it. And I cannot express fucker. enough. Yeah. Get a bit worked up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just let's let's move on from Bert. Let's move on because I don't, I, don't, I will keep shitting on Bert, but oh, at yeah. the end of the day, he's more successful than both of us, three of us combined, multiplied. Or yeah. well, you got to give him that. Yeah, at least we got to got to beat Bert. That's the goal. <laughs> What are your life goals? Beat Burt Crusher. What, like, <laughs> just financially? Like in, no, a, in a UFC ring. In a fight. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I want to beat Burt Crusher. <laughs> yeah, but let's let's move on from him. So, um, I believe I told you to come up with a list of things that you want to talk about because I'm, I'm just few, interested in your life story. Yeah, there's a few good things happen yeah. in the last few years or maybe a bit longer. Go. These stories Dig into go it. back. Um, well, there's this one guy I used to work with, or that started working with us, I guess, like on the first week of the business open. This was like the f- maybe five years ago. Mm-hmm. And then he worked with us for like two months and then fucked off for like ages. And I see this kind of Williams Landing bus stop, like, I want to say like two years from then. And I was like, bro, where the fuck have you been? Because he lives local. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I just uh, got some trouble with the coppers. I was like, what happened? He's like, oh, I was just behind bars. He's like, why? And I'm assuming, like, aggravated assault. <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> right. That's like, I'm lowballing. Yeah. Ho- hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I don't and think there are, there are not many instances where you go, hopefully, it's aggravated assault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because this kind's fucked, bro. Yeah. And he's like, nah, possession of illegal firearm and attempted murder. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> and he's just, just straight up telling you. Yeah. And he's the guy that was giving me the plants of weed that I told you I would get for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. If I knew you back then. Yeah. Well, we didn't know back yeah. then, but yeah. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Bro, he's just like on ice. Just... Him and his wife. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not good. But yeah, these are one of the few people I know. <laughs> Well, what other creative characters, I guess, have you come across in your travels? There's this one guy that used to live in North London. I don't even know if he's in the country anymore. He's like of Singaporean mm. background. So one of my good mates at the time moved out of his house. He used to, we used to be together, like almost always, because we used to work together and then come back and sesh together. So we're together, like, like for the major amount of the day. Yeah. So he moved out of his house when moved in with this guy and apparently this guy was 
seemed normal. But over time, like, he broke up with this chick. Like, some shit happened. And I can't remember what he took, bro. I want to say Zans mixed with heaps of alcohol. But I also wanna, don't want to say what it was. Like, I don't know what it was exactly. You don't know the exact mixture, but yeah. it was something. It was something fucked. Because, like, he, he almost, like, killed a guy on the, on the street. <laughs> yeah, one, once we were just driving his chick back from the airport. He like fucked his bike. He's like, "Oh, right, I'll be I'll be back in like two minutes." And his chick was like, "Are you alright?" Seem a bit off. He's like, "Yeah, I'll just be right back." He fucking drives off, like rides off with his bike. Yeah. Bucks up, just sees some random cunt, picks up a fucking like a metal pipe from the street and just whacks him, bro. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Comes back, and then his chick breaks up with him a few days later, and then this cunt gets just off the deep end. Right. Bro, this cunt was going to the casino. Walking out with a duffel bag full of chips. Not even the cash. He didn't exchange the fucking chips for the cash. Yeah? So he just walks out of the Wait, casino. Wait, are you allowed to walk out with the chips? Yeah, they don't check you. I mean, he's got a duffel bag. Yeah. I'm um, sorry, I probably like... He would have walked into one, walked out of... Like, I don't think they would have checked him. I feel like that's... Because like what? You could just bring in fake chips to the casino. Couldn't you? If they allow you to walk out, they're delayed. To they bring, yeah. I'm yeah. assuming. Oh, we can try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, we'll, we'll run an operation. But I, I know yeah. this, but this, because this kind was walking out with maybe like a smaller size duffel bag, if that makes sense. Like, long, like a massive mm. one. Yeah, yeah. And someone saw him walk out of the fucking casino with the chips. And our, it's a lot of chips, yeah. Like, maybe like 100 grand in there of chips. Yeah. He walks home, someone sees him walking around, follows him. Halfway through, this guy realized, fuck, I've got chi-. Oh no, he comes back home. And my mate's there. He's like, dude, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, I just won this at the casino. He's like, yeah, but they are chips. You gotta exchange them for the cash. He's like, fuck, I gotta go back. This is all happening at 2 a.m. This guy's yeah. fucked out of his mind. Yeah. And, and he's got his mate dropping him back and forth. So he goes back to fucking exchange the cash exchange it the same cunt's following him he doesn't know exchange the cash comes back and the cunt robs him at knife point stupid dude i know fucking but like a few days later he just gets even more fucked so what you know like in the joker scene where one of the jokers is like sitting around with all the knives i think it's jared letter yeah yeah, yeah yeah it was the same ship but like this kind of had this like pizza boxes lying around. <laughs> <laughs> but on that, he had written like, "Oh, you're not good enough. You fucking deserve to die. All that shit." Right. And my mate's like, "Now nah, fuck this. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving out." That was that was the final straw. It wasn't. <laughs> it was. It wasn't like getting robbed oh, of a hundred grand. Of oh no, because these guys were smoking. They were doing. This is where he was doing dabs. Right. I haven't done a dab yet. Oh, yeah. 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 This is what, so that cunt was getting everything. So they would like do snow cones. Do you know what snow cones are? No. You pack a bong with weed and then sprinkle it with speed. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you rip yeah. it, bro. Oh. <laughs> I've done it like once or twice. Any good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I'll, I'll, I'll add that to the list, I guess. Yeah, even Xanax and weed is good. Yeah. Because I was, like I was talking with, um, I was talking with someone else about like different, I guess, combinations of what you're and supposed everything, to do. And everything, all of this happened allegedly in a dream. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All, this one this is all <laughs> satire and performance, and none of this happened. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Of course, of course, yeah. legally safe. Yeah, all made up. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, you was going. Anyway, was, that, was that the last you ever heard of this guy? Oh yeah. Yeah, just like, that's it. So he could be, he's probably dead. Also, on Snapchat, he posted a selfie of himself, 50 grand to whoever can kill me. So he just put a hit out on himself? Yeah. So, so the, technically, he could be dead. He could, he's probably dead. <laughs> he's probably dead. <laughs> if you put a hit out on yourself... You yeah. He'd probably leave the duffel bag somewhere, bro. <laughs> of cash. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 that's probably true. He's like, he has to walk around with the cash the whole time. Yeah, he just leaves it in a safe spot and tells the guy go pick it up when it's done. Mm. <laughs> it's effective business. Yeah. 
Jeez, all right. I didn't, th- I didn't know that's where you were going to go with that story. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah. No, no I've, I've met some few fucking interesting guys bro, in my life. I haven't met anyone like that before. Not anyone that I know of, at least, that's done anything like that. Not anyone that knows anyone that's done that. So, like... <laughs> and to think about, I'm the immigrant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you know. Right, okay. Um... Let's jump into some I, more life stories, I guess, because I know, I know, I tell you to save shit for the podcast. Yeah. Um. And you do. More often than not, our meetings are on record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Want to pick it up where we left off? I think we left off when I was like. Seventeen. Yeah, we did, but, and I knew that, but you said not to say that. So yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll uh, let me talk about what's been happening recently. Okay, go recent then, because it's pretty interesting. Because my puppy just saw one year old yesterday. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, it's already been like ten months. Mm-hmm. So but you don't realize like time just flies. No. Well, well, um, Coco grew heaps in like a short period of time. From yeah. massive. Yeah. There's a picture of me sitting down right next to him. And we're clicking a picture for like with the birthday cake, mm-hmm. and you just see my head and his head. His head, I reckon, is slightly bigger. Really, I think. Uh, is that because I've got a picture? I'll show you later. Yeah, yeah. We can oh, put up, it on the screen. Up. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do that. Yeah, we can yeah. do all that. sorts of multimedia now. Great. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Yeah. yeah. Well, dig in. What else has been happening? Or have you got more about? Did you throw oh, yeah. a birthday party for your dog? Because I know people do that. I didn't get time because I came straight from work and I had planned to go out last night. Yeah. And I did. But I had to leave the house at like 6.45. And I only get home from work at 5. So what I'm hearing so like is really you're, still, you're still going to throw some sort of party. Probably. For yeah, I got a, I've bought a birthday gift for him yeah it's like on its way it's like a gold cuban link chain okay is that so a gift for be... him or is that more a gift for you just to be like... for him yeah trust me it's gonna look sexy on him yeah but remember you are also the one walking the dog and you've told me in the past that like chicks will come up to you because you've got a dog oh, easy yeah yeah so is it for you or is it for the dog oh for him to be honest because i look i reckon the gold and the brown will contrast well yeah i don't know it does. yeah like it'll look good on him yeah because I don't put a collar anymore for him. Uh, I've got like a smaller collar, which looks a bit weird because his head's grown so much. Mm-hmm. And like a collar that's a bit too big for him right now. So I just leave him without a collar. And I put a harness on him. So that's how I walk him. So it's yeah. a harness and a gold chain. <laughs> <laughs> he's bowling. He's like, he's like a, yeah, couple, but, uh, he's <laughs> a couple of steps away from being a slave. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say he's a couple of steps away from being an esche. <laughs> Like it just need the TNs and the hat. Yeah. <laughs> Do that. Yeah, that would be. That's quite funny. <laughs> yeah. I would have been doing stand up if I wasn't like if I didn't have stage fright. I'll be honest with you. Look, and I think I'd be good at it. I think if you I, would like, too. Smoke a joint just before. Listen, no, okay, just, okay. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe half an hour before just to warm up. I think like if you were to get past that stage fright shit, no worries, you could do it. But yeah. I, I, I can, I don't have enough experience to say, yeah, 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 go for it. You go do it. I'd encourage but it for sure. At one, one time I took some edibles Yeah. and I was in my shower doing a set for 20 minutes and I realized yeah. I'm in the fucking shower, bro. Yeah. I'm not at all the stage. the best set of your life. Yeah. 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 I remember you telling me. Oh. No, I reckon you could do it. Cause like, if it's a matter, is it a matter of being seen or is it a matter of seeing? Oh, it's a matter of everyone looking at you with the spotlight on you. And what? You just. I fucking blank out, bro. I just get nervous. You don't like yeah. probably nine out of ten presentations at my uni. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Either I like just sped through it because I couldn't be fucked, or like I was just too nervous. I just like blurred out everything I remembered. Yep. Or I would just like blank out. Yeah, the, the blanking out things happened to me before. It's not. <laughs> I seen the, a video. Of yeah. Me. <laughs> it's the hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, but yeah, no, it's happened, uh, and it's happened on record as well before. Um, I've actually recently started like to, to get around it. I think it's a matter of practice because I don't focus enough on the writing stage. Yeah. So. Oh, and comedians write for like a year before they put out like any. Oh, that's like well, an yeah, hour. Yeah, no, dude, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to open mics. 
It's not. Right. It's not. It's free. Yeah, Anyone I know. can just show up. Yeah. I you might. Just, yeah, what yeah. the fuck, Josh? Yeah, Let's well, do it. Yeah, well, I know I'm not no, good no. enough to start inviting people. Dude, oh, right, really? So, oh, he's a fucking, he's asleep. That's to, to put up. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, um, the only one of our friends that has seen me do stand up live is Jacob. Yeah. And he'll tell you, like, they're like, when it's bad, it's bad, but when it's good, it's good. Yes, yeah. Um, and that kind of just happened, not by accident, but like, we were going to hang out at night anyway. It's like, hey, look, I'm going to be here at this club at this time. Uh, if you meet me here uh, for this, like, I'll do my stage time and then we'll fuck off and go hang oh, out. Oh, yeah. Um, but since then, I think I've gotten worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's not been good. I thought uh, you was, I was waiting for the I've gotten better. No, 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 no. So, um, negligence on the work, yeah. lack of practice, and just being busy and focusing on other shit. And it just, it just drops off. So anything that I've built up then is gone. So I'm going to build back up to that and then go further. And even then that was pushing it for inviting people. All right. So. That yeah. means I can come with you and yeah. I won't be as bad. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 you could. You can sign up along with me too. You could. Hey, look, look, don't get is me wrong. The, is it a rubber is, chicken? Uh, no, that, that's. I can go there, but that one. Right. So I, I've talked to people who go there, who did the school like I did and they don't consider that so on the wednesday nights there's like a workshop thing where there's just pretty much just other comics in the crowd and you're just getting up on stage and practicing yeah while yes it's stage time it's a good for basic level but they don't consider it a real gig if that makes okay. sense it's yeah. literally just practicing going up in front of people oh no i want to go to a real just start off just, like, start just, off. Go just, off, just bro. straight deep end. just straight deep yeah that's how i learned swimming i almost yeah. drowned when i was young <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm a licensed scuba diver. Yeah. Oh, sick, dude. Is yeah. That, yeah. So I did I, know about the scuba diving. Did I not diving. tell you this? No, well, I knew about it, but you didn't tell me. No, I'm a certified scuba diver. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to I've, got, I've got a basic license, but I want to get the second course done, which lets me dive up to... So right now I can dive up to 10 meters. Mm -hmm. No, right now I can dive up to 18 meters. But if I get my advanced license, I can dive up to 30 meters. Mm-hmm. And I think I'll be able to start training other people. Was it tough to just start the process of getting your license? Or like... I did it through Monash. Oh. So it was good. Yeah. So I, they go, this one guy who's an instructor for Patty and they're the main scuba diving, like licensee. I think you can like mainly everything across the world. If it has anything to do with scuba, scuba diving, Patty's involved. If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. They're yeah, like a you. big name and business so this guy used to work was a certified instructor for patty and he came in via monash because monash gets other people to do clubs and shit and he was organizing like a certification course like the basic one so like 10 of us signed up on like orientation zero zero week at uni and we did like four dives and um, by the end of the fourth dive like got a certificate why not sounds Oh, we also Almost had too easy. Yeah, also had like another yeah. test. You had to do like an online like computer test. Yeah. Like remember, like because the, there's a lot of stuff you got to learn. Doesn't sound too easy. It's not just a dive. Yeah. Because you got to dive with weights on you. Of course. Yeah, like yeah. it's like a weight belt, and the amount of weight you put on it depends on your weight, like your actual weight. Mm -hmm. So how's that calculated? Because I don't know anything no, about I, the. I don't like, remember the. Diving. Yeah, I don't remember the calculation, but I I think I had to chuck on, maybe twenty five to thirty kilos on me that and then you got to fill up your oxygen tank so you're that weighs a, a fair bit no 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 so you 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 actually weigh a fuck ton bro because you got to gear up and then walk to the pier off the pier and jump off the pier right wherever, yeah. wherever. unless you're going on a boat to the deep end and then you just gear up on the boat which is way easier because all your tanks are filled you you don't have to physically carry it with you so is there some sort of fitness test to make sure that you can actually carry 30 plus kilos it's, it's in yeah that's what that's the thing well i said 30 plus because the only figure he gave me was for the the yeah. belt yeah i know it's no but yeah weighs it, it weighs a lot because you'll think oh it's just oxygen but it's it's a lot of it's yeah, <laughs> yeah. well it has to be a lot yeah <laughs> and yeah because also you gotta there's a lot of stuff you gotta remember when you dive deep but there's also one of the parts of the qualification was like you you go off the pier you're like pretty deep down maybe like 10 meters i think maybe so you, basically it's hard to you can't swim up yep if anything happens you can't swim straight up 
you know, like you, your lungs would burst because of like deep pressurization. Doesn't, doesn't your blood? Yeah, like there's a lot of complications. Yeah. yeah, you can't swim straight up from the yeah. deep end. But one of the tests was you take off all your gear except the weight belts, and that guy's got his or your oxygen. No, your oxygen in your mouth, and you got to take off your backpack with the oxygen tank and like take off your glasses, chuck them back on, take your water off the glasses, and then you got to gear back up and you're like kneeling down on the fucking ocean bed pretty fucking dark <laughs> jeez and this is just this is just training so that if like, oh that's that's before the main dive so the main oh. dive we swam heaps and they told us to do a couple of things that would stop in the middle they'll tell you okay to change your buoyancy to make your head float on a like a higher level so you're, you're on a slant Mm-hmm. so there's a way to do that because like you inflate and deflate your thing your jacket so like there's a couple of things that was like the main dive but the second interesting thing was so you got to swim i think like 10 meters straight up or maybe a bit less i think it was 10 meters can't be wrong on that and you can't breathe the mo- so he's ha- he has his hand on your fucking mouth the moment you breathe he's like fail <laughs> Jeez. So you, you got to do it again yeah and you gotta swim the whole distance in one breath for your main qualification like your final bef- that's the main yeah are there any pre-tests to make sure that you're actually capable of all this no. stuff before you get into the water <laughs> no they ask you you good and that's it <laughs> yeah that's it that's the test uh, everyone has to be a confident swimmer and there's no you don't have to prove anything no no because <sighs> if you drown you drown bro yeah that's it that's, that's <laughs> you gotta you sign there. the waiver yeah <laughs> <laughs> they won't take you just like that <laughs> no no of course no all right well was this so the scuba diving stuff that was for also towards the end of the dive oh yeah a on. lot of their people's oxygen was running low because you got to breathe nice and calm and slow but they weren't no because if you panic that's when your breath goes out yeah, of, control. Yeah, of course that's yeah. what i'm saying yeah so was this was the scuba diving stuff that licensing was for you were looking at work in when I finally moved to Queensland, yes, and work on the reef, right? Well, like, tell me about like what you were looking for. Well, to be honest, just like to get started with, yep, like just a charter company that takes people out on the reef, because that's to what do I what, though. Or sco- snorkel and scuba dive. Oh, like, like for like a diving school or like for... no, nah, as tourism. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, like me taking tourists out yep. on the on the cruise. Like I'll be one of the crew members. And because I have a scuba diving license, I can take the people for a dive. Right. So that would that, that would mean you just get so, free cruise holidays. <laughs> exactly. And I get to dive on the reef. For, you know, it's one of the natural windows of the world. Dude, that's awesome. As a life. Yeah, as a yeah. job. Because I went for this one cruise. Amazing. Three meals on the cruise. A crew of like eight, including the captain. And I think three or four of the crew members would come with you in the water like scuba dive or snorkel you if like you got a scuba dive you could pay extra at the time and you can scuba dive and they take pictures and shit of you underwater because they got an underwater camera mm-hmm. and there's also a glass bottom boat tour so you sit on a boat and the bottom is glass so and the water is fucking clear like well, you can it's clean yeah yeah and yeah. i reckon it's even better now because like covid oh yeah because there's like a little less pollution around so exactly. everything clears up yeah there's no yeah. oil because of all the boats there's no oil in the water yeah like it's pretty clean oh. and like you can see straight down and i reckon the corals are back to the normal color as well so i want to go there again before tourism picks up mm. is that on the actual plans of shit to do or is that just uh oh, one day oh no like you mean the the quick holiday to the reef yeah or? yeah yeah, yeah. like the, what, you, what you said you wanted to get back there before tourism picks up to, yeah just to have a look at the reef yeah yeah now no, that's gonna be soon yeah oh good man yeah it's good no, you, you can just go yeah. over like i can just take a day off work friday yeah fuck off thursday night just take a flight thursday night friday night saturday come back sunday and you just need one day on the reef yeah of course yeah but three days for travel i guess <laughs> or drink yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah because Kane's got a fucking beautiful public lagoon. It's public and it's fucking amazing. And the, the size they made it like a beach. Mm-hmm. So there's like sand, barbecue pits on the side, and it's overlooking the ocean. So the lagoon's right here. There's a walking path and that's the ocean. Nice. 
It's pretty good. Hmm. So, when, when were you doing the uh, scuba license? Oh, this was years ago. Roughly five and a half, six. Okay, yeah. So, I guess what, like, COVID fucked up the plans? Oh, a lot of plans, yeah. Yeah. A lot of plans. Hmm. Well, I mean, if you're getting back on track soon. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I'm not. just saving up some money now. Yeah, yeah. To finally move about. No, because I also got to figure out how do I transport my dog. That's a major issue I'm having right now. Yeah. Was your, was your dog, it, correct me if I'm wrong, that was an impulse. Oh, no. No? No. No? Tell I've been me. wanting a dog for like 10 years. Oh, yeah? But just my parents wouldn't let me. And, well, I mean, I think just like disobeying Early. parents then was an impulse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like, yeah, fuck it. Oh, I'm just going to get one. Yeah. Yeah. So w- what did they... I'm trying oh, to find a conversation. They, they, they were like piss, yeah. pissed off, but... I was like, yeah, I can't. I mean, this is it. We <laughs> have a dog. <laughs> like, what do you want to do about it? <laughs> what if they said they wanted to get rid of the dog? Oh, no way. But you wouldn't have. You. you... Basically. I'll take, I'll take the dog with me, move. I'll run the place that has animals allowed, including dogs. What I'm trying to get at is if it came down to it, could you fight your parents? Like, physically? Well, if it came down to it. Oh, easily, bro. <laughs> 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 my, 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 when I was like 12 or some shit my mom totally smacked the fuck out of me yeah. and I just got her hand bro I was like what are you trying to do bro because <laughs> I was just that much stronger than her oh shit dude imagine and then she realized she can't hit me anymore oh because oh, I used to get smacked as a child oh yeah because yeah, yeah. that shit would be illegal here I could call child <laughs> services on my dad if that shit happened here bro oh my fuck <laughs> no dude I got chased around by the wooden spoon wooden spoon wooden spoon that's so, nothing no 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 no. i know it's nothing but it wasn't nothing to me when i was a kid like i mean, I mean like, like you? young oh like three four. Oh, at that age no yeah. that's fucked i never got hit that young. <laughs> <laughs> i got fucked up at 10 to 14 bro <laughs> four years i've just been fucking like out because i was a rebellious child my mother oh, yeah. yeah and i had bad friends even <laughs> oh, dude, dude, i was like, questionable yeah. friends growing up and i was the youngest in my group yeah and I also started smoking at the age of 10, which is not really... No, that's that's <laughs> against all recommendations. Yeah. But no, no, dude, I was... I figured out quite quickly and easily how to piss off my parents. My mum broke, I reckon, three wooden spoons from... Because, like, there would be a warning shot first, like, mm-hmm. where she hit the kitchen bench. Three times a wooden spoon broke. With the warning shot? With the warning shot, yeah. That's how... That's how much shit I would get myself into. And then when I got tall enough to figure out no, that I could like you got chased over. the wrong. Did you get smacked? Yeah, a- like eventually, like so. Basically, from the first, I don't want to say beating, yeah. but like from like that was the all right. Figure out, like I tried fight. It's not going to work. Flight it is. <laughs> so like the way the house was structured, you could you could basically do like a figure eight around like between the living room and the kitchen area, and then back to the living room. But there was a couch in the way. And as soon as I figured out that I had enough confidence to jump over the couch, I could go one way where there was like the step to sit and back over the top, but I couldn't go the other because I was just not well, tall enough. Yeah. 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 And as soon as like that was clear, as soon as I played that card of a move that I could do, it's like send in dad. That's it. Cause I can't escape dad. <laughs> can escape bum. No fucking worries. But no, dad's not someone to fuck with. Um, no, my dad is the one that smacked me. Oh, yeah, no, no, like it started with my mom, but then like when it progresses to dad, that's how you know that it's like, okay, you've surpassed. Bro, for me, it was always dad. Like, he, you know what he used to smack me with? What? The belt. The belt. But oh, with, fuck, but yeah. But with the buckle side. Oh. She used to hit me with the buckle. <laughs> Bro, I used to be swollen for two days. <laughs> I mean, if parents did that today... That's like, that's... Today? Any day. Any day? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. It's still what the fuck, but... I, I wouldn't... I can't even think of raising a hand on a kid that I don't even have, bro. Yeah. Okay, I've never right, hit my right. dog. Fair enough. Maybe you got, you got different parenting perspectives. I'm not saying that I would. I'm saying, look, I get it. Like... I get it a little bit. Like, smack me once and tell me off. Don't smack me for half an hour, bro. <laughs> I never had half an hour. Oh, I did, though. Oh, okay, okay. That's, uh... Um, like, he used to take 
like ten, a 10 minute break for my body to not fucking start swelling and come back and keep smacking. Jesus. <laughs> Like, oh, all right. I guess you win the child abuse Olympics. Yeah, I don't I'm fucking. <laughs> I don't know. Bro, that's why I'm so fucked up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's your parents' fault. It's yeah. not. Well, okay. Actually, more often than not, it usually is. The parents. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that solves that mystery. Some fucking creepy uncle that likes kids. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm trying to think of more child abuse stories because I'm sure there's some. Oh, I've been watching some Chris Hansen lately, fucking to catch a predator. Okay, yeah, that's a bit more than child abuse. That's like oh, that's, that's full, full pedophilia. Yeah, that's that's like, a bit that's further. Yeah. yeah. So well, well, bro, well, you... one kind just walks walks up to the house with the fucking pizza. Yeah. Because like he was thinking he was gonna meet this 14 year old. And, they like, always do. Bro. They always think that they're gonna like get away with whatever they want to do. But the sad thing is, a lot of people do have. Yeah. That's what pisses me off. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this guy rocks up with the pizza, and he's like thinking he's just full-on fucker for 14 year old and he th- he knows something's off, and then Chris Hansen comes out, and this guy's chilling, bro. He like sits down, starts eating a pizza. He's like, do you want a slice? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, do you want a slice of pedophile pizza? Like, yeah, yeah it's, sure, no worries. He's like, you can have your pizza, but you're going to jail, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, they're all like, they're not, they're not. You know what? Well, well, it's not an original thought, but I agree, like, 100%. It's like, dead pedophiles don't reoffend. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it, so they just that... need to make that a law. Yeah. Just no. pedophilia is the death, just death penalty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, and you'll be fucking fair. retarded not to agree to that fucking law. Yeah. What if I turned around and said, oh, actually, <laughs> you would have been like, who the fuck does he think he is? <laughs> so, okay. How the, so was Chris Hansen famous before to catch a predator or is that I don't what made know. him famous? I don't know. Cause he's pretty old, but I, I like, I don't know if he's doing this for the last 25 years. Is mm. that what makes sense? Like, actually, I've just remembered. So the way it ended, do you know the story? Of what? Of like to catch a predator. No, like, I just got into it. This is like the first oh. episode I watched the cunt with the pizza slice. And oh, I was okay, like, that's okay, fucking great. good. Yeah, the yeah, second yeah. episode was a mathematician teacher yeah. who was like, I'll bring some weird over. <laughs> <laughs> so from my understanding, the last episode was like some high level congressman. And when he figured out that it was able to catch a predator, he just straight up killed himself on camera. That's fucked. I gotta watch that. Yeah, well, no, I think oh, that the actual, it's, it's not, it's, yeah, it's... Oh, that's why unreleased. the show ended. Yeah, because they're like, holy fuck, we caught this on film. We cannot release this. And then the studio, studio executives were like, no, nope, that's it. Your show's over. Yeah. Even though can... the dude was like trying to meet up with some 13-year-old. Yeah. And it was just like, fuck. But if there's footage, oh, I mean, it'll that, be on that, the green screen. Yeah. <laughs> 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 there won't be there won't be there won't be no but no dude I guess I, I guess that's a good show to get stuck into in terms of reality TV oh it is yeah On a fucking another stupid fucking show yeah but it's just hilarious that I used to binge the fuck out of a long time ago Jersey Shore Jersey Shore <laughs> so I never actually watched it can you tell me like what it's about so it's like a show about these Italians who live in I'm guessing it's New Jersey yeah I think it is probably yeah. <laughs> and they move into like it's like a reality show They and 80% is scripted yeah they move into this one house it's all Italians and guys and girls everyone wants to bring someone home hook up and shit it's basically their life and they like work on the Jersey Shore <laughs> but the thing is everyone's dumb as fuck okay okay <laughs> I can see the appeal <laughs> <laughs> and they just get into weird stupid arguments and shit bro and it's actually f- it's just like the guilt watch like it's like you know what do you call it? i don't know what do you call it it's like guilty pleasure guilty pleasure yeah that's it <laughs> and the show's still going i mean they started like a like a sequel like jersey show reunited or some shit after like 10 years yeah but everyone got really successful How? after that show because it was big yeah okay. in like the early 2000s but I, I never watched it then. I watched it when, like, 2014. No, no, no. That's where it works. Like, yeah. It's probably where it's at. I'm trying to think if I've got any guilty pleasure shows like that. Neighbours. 
Oh, the the Aussie thing, the Aussie sitcom. Yeah, yeah. So no, I. So I did a deep dive into what Neighbours was over like the past. I think it was like thirty eight years or so. Because it's, it's fucking ridiculous. The, the show had like eight thousand episodes, and I'm looking at this list of like all the crazy shit that's happened, like in the show, and they, they straight up do everything. Like there's like there's terrorism. Um, okay, so there's, there's they had this like little subplot in one episode where um, this kid didn't want to pick up rubbish with the rest of his class, so he just straight up puts a bomb in the dumpster and blows it up. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah, 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 just because he doesn't want to pick up rubbish. Uh, police get called, a whole investigation, all this shit, and like that was a major plot point in like the 90s or something, something about that. Um, they had, there was like an Asian family that moved in next door to a racist neighbor and, <laughs> and like... That the, sounds like the 90s. Yeah, 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 yeah. and the, I guess the point of the episode was that the racist neighbor thought that the neighbors like cooked and ate their dog. Oh fuck! Yeah, like straight up, like there's a full <laughs> Bang confrontation. On stereotype. Yeah, 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 like like straight, full, complete stereotype. Um, what else? No one. With, okay, okay. with the bombing, I was gonna say it sounds like an American sitcom, but with nope. the fucking no, 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 no. But like they all have dog. Australian accents, dude. Okay, they had one episode from the perspective of the dog, and the dog was just like in some sort of like acid dreamland. Like I can't. I gotta watch that episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just like some Labrador chilling out. Like Even more reason I gotta watch yeah. an episode. Yeah. Um, let me think. What else was there? So, the the villain of the show was a guy named Paul Robinson. And he had a son named Robert. So, technically, the character's name was Rob, 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 Robert, Rob Robinson. And the dude was like a full... I think he was like a war criminal by the end. Like, the dude crashed a plane that the entire street was on just to get revenge on one person, and then that started off, like, the season subplot where everyone's stuck on an island for a bit, because I think Lost was popular at the time. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it's just, like, it's just ridiculous soap opera garbage like that. Well, okay, like, the points <laughs> that I'm making here, like, of, like, the specific, not points, but, like, the plot points, yeah. these are the interesting parts. The rest of it is garbage. Yeah. Um... Bro, this Jersey show, the entire show is garbage. Yeah. But you just watch it for the characters. Yeah, but... <laughs> can good characters make up for a bad show? No. No, so well then... <laughs> Guilty the pleasure. Fuck? Guilty pleasure. Yeah, yeah. It's like... <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I Bro, guess I'm... I have to see it for myself. A few good shows recently. Yeah. Or a while ago that I watched. Um, a couple of months ago. Have you heard of Narcos? Surely. Yep. Definitely. Yeah. The guy who played Pablo is not a Colum Colombian. Because Pablo is Colombian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Escobar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, you didn't really have to elaborate on the Escobar part. <laughs> thank you. For, who does, for whoever doesn't know who yeah. Pablo fucking Escobar yeah. is. Uh, it's like, oh, so with Pablo Escobar. <laughs> yeah, he did this thing. <laughs> but the guy who played Pablo is a Brazilian. Right. So he actually went to school after he got offered the part in Colombia to learn the Colombian Spanish I guess or yeah the accent the dialect everything and then he performed in the show for two seasons as a Colombian and he actually did a great job awesome but the people who actually are from Colombia they can tell like that that he's not Colombian yeah yeah, yeah of course you would because right. he's also he's an actor yeah yeah so he's just doing like no even with the accent yeah and like even though he prepared so much like for you and me it's like he did a great job as mm. Pablo. But there's another show that people don't know. And I got introduced to the show because of my Colombian friends. Like, what's the show called? Pa it's actually called Pablo Escobar. But El Patron de Mal. Okay. Which means the boss of evil. And that's like really fucking detailed. And the whole show is in Spanish. And that guy who plays Pablo is way better. Yeah? Fucking up, bro. And is it just because and of he, like, he's the background? Like, like, yeah, he's actual he's, Colombian, he's actual yes, Colombian, yeah. but the way he acts and shit is insane. Like, you will look at him and you'll see this fat, chubby, fucking bubbly dude and shit. Mm. He'll work with it, he'll walk with his, like, shirt open, so you just see his massive belly. Yeah. And, like, he'll just have a smile on his face and shit, and from, in a second, bro, he can just switch. And he's like, I'll just bomb your whole neighborhood. What are you gonna do about it? That cunt is fucking insane. And that's a good show. Yeah. That I gotta finish. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
but the whole thing's in Spanish, so you gotta read sub. So like, yeah, yeah, of course. One night he had this party for his wife, and he got another singer to come in from like another country to perform at his house for his wife. But then the singer called the wife on the stage for a song to dance with him. Mm. This kind of fucking loses it. <laughs> of course he would, yeah. <laughs> he gets the guys to fucking kidnap the singer right after. <laughs> Take him outside, fuck him up. Yeah. And this guy's pissed at his wife. His wife got close to him. Oh, by the way, when he was married with his wife and two kids, he was still banging other bitches. Of course, yeah. But he's like, no, this is my wife. Yeah, yeah and while the, in Narcos, yeah, one of the bitches is like shit-talking his wife. And he just gets pissed off while he's fucking her. He's like, don't talk shit about my wife. And he keeps fucking her. <laughs> Yeah, that's, as, a, that's, as a true legend should that, yeah. yeah and so, this gun in the other show yeah he, going back to the other the Spanish one yeah, yeah so after that scene happened where they fucked up the singer and he's pissed off his wife his mates go wait so both shows are following the same storyline yes they're okay all, but the one in Spanish is more detailed because obviously Netflix original with the American actors and shit they have like limited episodes and limited stuff they can cover yeah but with the Spanish one it's like no seasons it's just, just episodes show. okay and there's maybe like 40 plus episodes that sounds good yeah and he's like the, his friends go like so what are we gonna do he's like you got your passports he's like yeah <laughs> he's like let's go fuck some bitches and he f- just flies all of them to brazil nice. <laughs> and now nice. they're all with hookers <laughs> the, oh, the the most recent thing i saw that involved pablo escobar you gotta watch this movie stoned all right stoned stoned oh, yeah, yeah maybe an edibles because it's a movie yeah smoking works uh Uh, the weird al yankovic biopic i've heard of it yes so it came out recently who's who's acting as who's the main actor daniel radcliffe yes yeah Yeah. dude okay so that movie like you watch it and even if you're not stoned you feel stoned because it's i didn't realize it at first it's a parody on biopics themselves so like, did you, oh, did you really? watch? Yeah, yeah. Did you watch um, Rocket Man, uh, oh, Bohemian yeah. Rhapsody? So the movie, the dialogue sounds like just a little bit off, and while you're watching it, you can't. You like, I didn't realize it at first, but it were was because high? it's a parody. But were you high? Oh yeah, <laughs> I've, I've, I haven't watched that movie sober. I've seen it three times. Oh nice. Yeah. yeah. Th- that's how. That's how much I recommend this movie. Like I've been like I, there's. If someone is like watching all these episodes that we're recording now in a row. This would have been like the third time I've told someone to watch this mo- this movie. Because like yeah. that's how much I've asked for it. Yeah. So it's 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 strange. So you know how Weird Al has that like that accordion? Like he's like he's no, famous. I have, you know nothing I about Weird yeah, Al. No. Really? Yeah, but I've I've been keeping up with some of the news of the movie. Okay. That's why I know about the movie. So okay. And I assume it wasn't released yet. No, 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 it's out. So they released it on like a streaming service that no one heard of. And even Weird Al himself on Twitter was like, no, 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 but it's okay. Like, I've, like he goes, and it, was, it was some weird tweet where he was like, oh, um, uh, he had specific words, I guess, either capitalized or bolded or highlighted that basically said pirate this movie or torrent this movie in the tweet. <laughs> yeah, just like, just straight up on Twitter. I'll, I'll, I'll show you after this. Um, but it's worth doing it. It's like, okay, I'll explain it like this. He gets in a fight with his dad, like right at the start, because his dad doesn't want him to be a musician. His dad wants him to work in the factory. And, right. uh, Daniel Radcliffe, he's like, oh, you know, I'll show you, uh, I'm going to be the most famous artist playing in like the most obscure instrument. You'll see, I'll show you. And then, like, at the end of the movie, he wins, and he goes, and it's like this, at the award ceremony, and the person speaking is like, and the award for the most, not the best, but the most famous artist with the most obscure instrument goes to Weird Al Yankovic. And it's just, it's like, everything is just, it's just a little bit off, right? And it says, like, based on a true story, all this shit, like, at some point, there's a reason I'm bringing this up, um, like, he dates Madonna, and in real life, yeah. Does he actually date Madonna? No, never happened. <laughs> <laughs> it never happened. Um, about maybe the three quarter point of the movie, uh, Madonna gets kidnapped by Pablo Escobar, and the singer in question, like in 
in it's in Colombia, yeah, yeah, yeah. So in Colombia, it's Weird Al, and because like because Pablo Escobar is such a massive fan of Weird Al Yankovic, <laughs> he's the artist that goes into support, and he goes in, kills everyone, and saves Madonna. Fucking yeah, hell, <laughs> you're like you're sitting like, and at this point, like the movie went from being okay. I can see how this happened, like this, because like how biopics always like change change shit to how it happened. Yeah. But at this point, the movie's gone off the complete fucking rails. <laughs> so at the halfway point. Do you know how he made, like, he got famous initially from doing parodies of Michael Jackson songs? Yeah. So, in the movie timeline, uh, he does acid and comes up with Eat It and releases it before Michael Jackson releases Beat It. Beat it. <laughs> and then, like, the, oh, the week later, like, he gets a call from his agent. He's like, yeah, uh, Michael Jackson loved your song so much that he made a parody of your song called Beat It. And then uh, Weird Al is like, no, he's more famous than me. Everyone's going to think that I made the parody. This is not what I want. And it's just, it's, it's, and it's played completely straight like that. Like you sit there and go like, this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it's such a good watch. It's, it's very, very fucking enjoyable. Um, the way he gets his accordion at the start, this is like some door to door accordion salesman who like basically just invites himself into the house and sells him on this dream. That he can be a good that, accordion that, that player. Can, not just the good, the best. And then his dad's like, no, kids will, um, kids will, uh, peer pressure you into this. You cannot accept it. Like he does like the whole don't drink talk, yeah. but it's for playing the accordion. <laughs> and he get like, he sneaks out to go to a party and then these kids go, look what we found. And they bring out an accordion and it's exactly like the dad described. <laughs> and, uh, it's, it's just, it's weird. It's weird. It's so fucking strange. Um, and then they're like, go on, play the, play the instrument, Al. Come on, do it, do it. And he's like, oh, no, I don't want to. He puts it on and he's a fucking prodigy. And everyone's just like, yeah. And then the police bust the party. And then he comes home with the accordion. And it's just, look, I'm just, I'm just telling you about the movie now. Yeah. you got to watch it yourself. i got to watch it, yeah. You this sounds it, interesting, yeah. bro. No, 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 it is. It is. Um, oh, one more detail. For absolutely no reason, as the movie goes on, Daniel Radcliffe just gets more and more jacked. It's never explained. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for no reason <laughs> have you watched any of the scary movies i've seen i think the third one but only the third one okay i think it's in scary movie too there's like a sheriff yeah and the head just keeps getting bigger <laughs> to the point where she has to like stick her head through the police window and yeah. like look out and the hat won't even fit in straight because she's got it straight in the neck and like yeah. I guess <laughs> and it's, it's like, not explained it's never no it's like I guess it's that same sort of I guess comedy principle where yeah. just like just shit just happens and you have to notice it yeah and like yeah. no one notices it yeah but um no watch this movie it's good alright I think we're gonna take a quick uh refresher have a break this will be the split between the episodes I'm not gonna outro here but we'll see you in the next one Damn.